All right, man, peace. <laughs> so, you know, I've received so many requests from various brothers for me to do a video on the issue revolving around Mr. Jacob Copeland. For those of you who are not familiar with who I'm speaking about, he's a very highly touted football prospect coming out of high school who is being recruited by most of the top-notch football programs in the NCAAs. He had managed to narrow down his options to three of the top SEC schools. For those of you who don't follow college football, the SEC has been pretty much recognized as the top college football conference in the country. Now you kind of have the Big Ten catching up to them, as well as a couple of other conferences that are starting to make way. But just to get back to the topic, Mr. Jacob Copeland has managed to narrow down the schools that he would like to attend to three that being the Tennessee Volunteers the Florida Gators and the Alabama Crimson Tide the Alabama Crimson Tide are viewed as being the NCAA football version of a dynasty very much akin to say the New York Yankees in baseball or in basketball the Boston Celtics or the LA Lakers Basically, they're viewed as being the cream of the crop, the creme de la creme of the college football world. So Mr. Jacob Copeland is going to make his choice and his mother is going to have a certain reaction. The reaction that pretty much galvanized the brothers who wanted me to make this video into asking me to do so. Of course, they're going to show her reaction. They're also going to talk about it and I'm going to chime in. Many things will be confirmed. I won't say revealed. Because if you've been on my channel for a long enough time, you know what most of my platforms are. You know what most of my perspectives are. But what she's going to do is basically going to confirm many of the things that I tell you brothers incessantly. So let's see what happens. The mom of a high school football recruit upstaged her son on National Signing Day. Now notice, even Miss Gail King states that the mother upstaged her son. So what does that term mean? That means that even Miss Gail King recognizes that the mother does not truly understand what her role was in that event. And I believe that is due to her being traumatized at the notion that she's no longer going to be the prime mover in her son's life. But you know what? I'll, I'll chime in a little bit more later. Let's see what happens. That doesn't matter. Miss Nora O'Donnell stated that the mother seems to be upset because she has on an Alabama sweatshirt. It doesn't matter because as you can also see, she has on a Tennessee Volunteers hat. Beyond that, the young girl in the black sweater standing directly behind the even younger girl with the white bow on her head also has on a, an Alabama sweatshirt. The difference is that the mother is the only one who decided that she was going to make this event about her by throwing a tantrum. As I tell many of you brothers, the woman starts to mature at 45. And in this society that is so matriarchal centric, most of these females are dominating the household. And they're unused to being told that they're incorrect about anything. And as opposed to focusing this video that I'm making totally on the conduct of the mother, let's also congratulate the brother here who made his own decision for conducting himself in a very mature fashion not allowing his mother's hijinks to throw him off and maintaining and maintaining focus on what he needs to maintain focus on which is what he views or what he deems to be the best school for his future let's be quite frank many of these parents want their child to go to a certain university because the coach of that university promised them a very, very heavy kickback in cash. It would not surprise me if you've ever seen Nick Saban and many of his recruiting ploys. He'll do anything. That man will dance the jig. He'll, <laughs> he'll do the bus stop. He'll do the electric slide. That man do the Harlem Shake. If he can get the best, newest, young black stars to come to his school. Nick Saban will do anything. And I'm sure that he also offers cash money kickbacks to many of these parents who pretty much 
are just chaperones for many of these hyper-talented young black stars, especially across the southern border of the United States. Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas are hotbeds for football, especially for young black talent. And let me not forget Florida, which is probably the hottest of the hotbeds. And as you can see, he had all three hats on the table, Tennessee, Alabama, Florida, and he decided to go to Florida. And that's what life is about. It's about you coming to the point where you can make your own decisions. And sometimes in the process of you becoming a man, you have to go through little instances with your parents who might not understand that transition when you're making it because they're just accustomed to having the authority over you. So to me, it's not that big a deal what the mother did. He knows his mother far better than me. I'm not going to sit here and call her a bad mother. I don't know her enough to call her a bad mother. She raised him for 18 years. He's still a functional individual. But it's just an example of a lot of the bullshit that you have to deal with when you have a strong rapport with any female in this society. You have to be, you have to be prepared for their childish antics. Um... Once again, congratulations to him. Just looking at his family <laughs> in the back, looks like his brother has him, uh, you know, an old white woman. And then to to the right of her was probably her son from a previous relationship. So it's all type of strangeness going on there. But once again, congratulations to the brother and also and how he conducted himself with the mother. You know, when you get older, sometimes you start to see certain things in your mom. You you love your mom, you cherish your mom, you honor your mom. But as you get older, you you understand that, you know, yeah, she might have a little immaturity about her. That's okay. Because she sacrificed for you and you look past that. She wanted him to go to Alabama. You see she's wearing Alabama and Tennessee gear with a hat. But once again, what she did there was was ridiculous and quite frankly reprehensible. But it is what it is. Her son says he had to follow his part, but the tension didn't last long because Jacob's mom came back and hugged him. Later, he she was mad. Later, he laughed off the incident on Twitter, writing, What my mama did today was hilarious. If you knew her personally, that's her job. Put on a show. Well, that's a shame. That means that he's accustomed to her hijinks. Um, once again, unfortunately, many of these young black men, uh, it truly is a success story how they transcend many of their environments. Once again, I'm not going to state that she's a bad mother. I'm just going off of what he stated. If he's accustomed to her wantonly and willfully embarrassing him, and as he put and as he put it, quote unquote, putting on a show, that means he's used to it. And oftentimes the reason why young black men tolerate bullshit from the females that they're in relationships with is because they, they, they're used to it from dealing with their mothers. And that's not a good thing. Uh, I've made certain videos in regards to LeBron James's mother. I, I view the LeBron James story as probably the greatest sports success story in the history of sports stories. For him to come out of that environment and transcend that and be the figure that he is now in the sports world, he deserves nothing but accolades. And hopefully this brother, he will, he will have a, a successful career in the NFL. But as you're growing up, particularly as a young black man, you have to be focused. You have to keep things in, in a certain perspective um, and just hope that there won't be any willful distractions to try to take the onus away from what you need to be focused on. And that to me is the, is the most, if I was him, would be the most disappointing thing is that you can't even control yourself on my day. Like, come on, man. But it's not really a surprise. So Mama walked right in front of the camera. <laughs> Clear. <laughs> That does it for us. Uh, be sure to tune in to the CBS Evening News. It's just funny. I wonder if that had been his father, would they be laughing and giggling like that? Can you imagine if it was a LeVar Ball type of dad and he just walked off? I wonder what they would have said. Oh, wow. You can't even control yourself on your son's day. Brothers, once again, many of these females know that the expectations for their conduct are far lower than the expectations of a man's conduct. That's why they don't even take their own ridiculousness seriously. They expect stupidity and simplicity from themselves. That is why they hold you as a man to higher standards and higher regard because they know that they're not equal to you. So the whole equality philosophy and ideology is truly meant 
to see if they can trick you into believing it. That's all it's truly about. But once again, congratulations to the brother. Hopefully he does well with the Florida Gators, Mr. Jacob Copeland. News with Jeff Florida tonight. See you tomorrow. Don't even know what to say. <laughs> You're damn right you don't know what to say. Nor O'Donnell asked that dude, you don't even know what to say. Of course he doesn't know what to say. He better not say nothing. In this corporate America environment right now, a man say one thing, he's going to HR. He say two things, he's out of a job. <laughs> he really, he didn't say anything because what he really wanted to say was that that woman was on some bullshit. But if he would have said that, Nora and Gail, would have said, how dare you talk about her like that? How she scrimped and saved so that he can go to college? How dare you? <laughs> but anyway, it is what it is. Peace.